Hello and welcome to World of Conan, to Barbarian Contemplations. So, I had some stuff left over from the last video, and uh, kind of made me think of a different segment or, or an idea maybe for the channel. I don't know. Just just talk about different stuff. Anyway, um, what do you guys think? Uh, what happened to movies, comics, and anime? Uh, now I understand that art goes forward, obviously, but there it feels like something was lost. Something was lost, and um, especially for me, as a musician, um, the movie soundtracks and the music, the the harmony or the synergy between uh, movie and and the soundtrack, it feels like something was lost completely uh, I just don't see it like coming up again in, in new movies I mean I see a glimpse of it sometimes like I felt it uh, in uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, at the end at the end the music uh, was memorable I kind of hummed that uh, the next few days uh, without me even realizing oh it's it's from that movie uh, and I saw it only once so far but um, so that's what I, I was I was thinking about what is you what are you guys thoughts uh, and uh, I'll play some some clips of my uh, of leftover from the last video because I kind of think about uh, my ideas a bit and I just go kind of on a tangent what happened or, or yeah, what I was thinking about so on this topic like <clears throat> as a musician music I feel like where's the next uh, Ennio Morricone where's the next uh, Jerry Goldsmith where's the next uh, Basil Poleaduris um, incidentally, these are my favorite composers, uh, at least in movies. Or, or Angelo Badalamenti. Everyone should know who that is. Yeah. Where's the directors who understand the connection between music, story, and all these things like I feel it was uh, more more understood back in the 80s 90s for the most part um, like David Lynch is a well, he's a pretty much master at it Ennio Morricone, yeah. Like, if you took away Ennio Morricone's music from the Dollar Trilogy, you know, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, or my personal favorite for a few dollars more. That's a masterpiece of movie. Oh, what a movie. So good. Incredible performances all around. The movie would be like half of what it is. Like, music plays such an important role in a in a film incredibly important now there are good movies with minimalist approach that don't really have any music at all and they work it's about the story and you know all that stuff it, it works uh, I don't have a problem with that um, but uh, I couldn't watch just that or, or like how I feel about it nowadays is that where's the composers like who's th who's the next one like Chunky XL <laughs> no <laughs> or Zimmer where everyone is like oh he's uh, he 
he, he's the next, he's, he's so great. So I was like, no, he's, he's pretty much, in my opinion, basic. Like, I mean, that's the, like the minimum that you should be in, in, uh, in, in music, in, in movies, like in my opinion, standards, like compared to the uh, former days where where Basil Poladuris and, and, and Jerry Goldsmith and, and, and Neil Morricone reigned or John Williams who has done fantastic music as well he's not my favorite in, in that sense that I that it takes it to that, like the next level but I mean his music you can't deny it's epic and it's it, it's good it's great like all the famous Star Wars music Indiana Jones music and so forth uh, but um, there is no new one at least that I haven't heard I mean there could be I'm, I'm not saying there isn't but like in a general general in a general way in movies in movies right now feels like there isn't an understanding with music and movies there just isn't or they they settle with substandard music and feel like that is enough because it, for me at least it's not connecting not at all it's really not connecting back synth music as well to movies thank you but, uh, like the last one for me was the Blade Runner 2049 I mean I understand some people don't like that movie but again it's it's a continuation of, of a in uh, like a perfect movie <laughs> a perfect movie it's a continuation of a perfect movie with a magnificent universe that I like to I would like to explore more and further and the music like that soundtrack is like bar none one of the greatest ever made period like I've listened to that score so many times also the holy grail of synthwave and retrowave music bands like Perturbator Carpenter Brute and uh, a whole host of other ones, Trevor something, and, and like on and on and on. Noir Deco and uh, all these kinds of bands. It's like, yeah, so that, that movie hit, but again, that wasn't an original movie in. in sense that that I already tested oh done done already and it had worked not at release box office wise box office wise but further on I mean how it became such a cultural impact in sci-fi and in anime like on and on so yeah like this is like I haven't seen anyone talk about this 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 major issue music and movies the connection is lost maybe I'm the only one maybe everyone thinks Hollywood or, or otherwise movies just pumping out masterpieces of, uh, of soundtracks like daily or yearly but no there just isn't like I said last one for me was uh, Blade Runner but again that was 
done in the style of Vangelis. Oh yeah, Vangelis. How could I forget Vangelis? Yeah, that's one of my favorite. Oh, favorite composers, Vangelis. Dude, Vangelis. His soundtrack for the Bounty. Oh, amazing. Vangelis also did Conquest of Paradise. The real Scott movie nobody really talks about, which I think is fantastic. And the music, once again, top tier level. Um, I think Vangelis did a fantastic job also in uh, Alexander the Great. Like a newer, newer movie. But yeah. Yeah, I don't see anyone picking up after the old guard. The perfect. Those great, great, great composers. There are many have passed away, sadly. Passed away. George just isn't. Um, so it feels like a downhill in in movies, in story wise. In acting wise, in, in, in music wise, in directing wise, so much CG, people don't understand the greatness of yesteryear's practical effects, looks more real. There's so much, yeah, but I don't see anyone talking about this music thing. And uh, it's pretty much dead. People gonna disagree with that, but I don't know. For me, that's a huge disconnect. Yeah, I just wanted to say, look at that art. Like, just looking at this was like, oh, so. This is what I mean, like with the old art. So cool, detailed, and all that stuff. That's why, I, while I do love the, I love new anime. Of obviously, there, like, there's, there's so much good stuff. There's nothing like that. Um, nothing against new anime, absolutely not. It's fantastic, but I do, I have to say, like 80s anime had incredible detail. So beautiful art, like hand drawn and all, but I do miss that though. I understand why they don't do do it anymore. It's easier to do it like they do it now and stuff like that. I get it. But man, it looked so good. The detail. Just like you know, just like this old comics. They're so so much detail I mean a lot of new stuff like just comparing it to the to the other uh, or to the new one like uh, the Avengers No Road Home I, I, like I'm not saying this is bad not, not at all uh, like it's it looks it looks good clean and, 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 and fantastic this is one of the better art I've definitely seen of the of the newer comics uh, and this has this has good detail, definitely. But uh, in a lot of like newer comics, there's like the detail isn't isn't there. And then it's just like really basic colors here and there. Like I mean, easy for me to say, but it's my opinion. Uh, and as a appreciator of the comic arts, <laughs> it just seems. Definitely something in, uh, in movies as well. I mean, it looks like in anime and, and, and comics and, and arts, then kind of something that was lost to the 80s. Like a lot of detail, awesome, awesome, awesome detail. Um, I 
do say this. If I was a movie movie producer, movie director, one time I thought about being a director quite a lot long ago. <clears throat> I would put uh, new retro vibe music in everything. <laughs> Uh, obviously, if it doesn't fit, I would, <laughs> would put like some kind of period piece. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice with Synthwave. Yeah, that would go over super well. Oh, but I mean, like, it feels like it, like we've lost something like, you know, all those classic movies like Aliens, Robocop, Terminator, um, Predator. All those, like, Classic movies and classic soundtracks, Conan the Barbarian, uh, The Thing, it's the same, like like if you know Fantastic 80s anime, uh, I want to recommend here if, if you haven't seen this, definitely check it out, uh, Cyber City, is it Odeo 808? Fantastic, fantastic. Reminds me, I gotta get that on DVD. I don't think it's on Blu-ray, but I'm gonna get it. Have to get it. The art is absolutely fantastic. Three short stories. Also, would like to get the Neo Tokyo one, but it's kind of expensive to get. It's out of print. I'd like to get that as well. But yeah. Yeah, give me more in those old school style. Would be definitely really cool, and uh, definitely feel the movies have lost it nowadays. There sometimes comes like a good movie, but there's there isn't really masterpieces anymore. There's exceptions, but for the most part. For me as an artist, I'm a musician, so I feel the link of the movie and the music has been, for the most part, for the most part, completely lost. Yeah, completely lost. Where's the awesome theme that makes you feel something? Where's that like? Like Conan the Barbarian, that's basically, uh, well that was his point, like John Milius. It's, uh, it's an opera. Now I've been enjoying opera as well because I've been watching some of them and uh, I can definitely see it. Why? Uh, I can definitely see that he made it as an opera in mind, so yeah. Uh, but just take like, uh, let's say, Terminator or or, or uh, Predator or Total Recall, um, even Dune. I love the Dune movie, the old Dune movie, fantastic. Uh, looking forward to the new one, but I'm just gonna say it right here. I'm predicting the music is not gonna be. going through my heart and uh, connecting me to the, the way they all G did and, and uh, style wise. I'm a David Lynch fan so that's like <laughs> in the 80s all the props are oh, fantastic and then the music like the prophecy theme oh check that out the prophecy theme is so good so good love it and the theme of course is obviously I wish David Lynch would go back and and give us a director's cut because I, I feel I understand his reason he feels slightly betrayed uh, but in my opinion you can't let these things mark you you can't let them because he's letting it hold like deciding who he is in, 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 in regards to that movie it's, it's uh, like feel sorrow with the movie I guess and pain and hurt but the only way you can get rid of those is 
not let it uh, hold power over you. You gotta, you have to step up and uh, decide to not let the past, past uh, uh, be the one that defines you. These uh, bad things you went through, you went through them, and you got on the other side. But uh, what I mean is, not let them define, like not let them own you. Like it, that, if you if you look back on them, it's uh, like it's deciding who you are, what your responses are, and all, all that all that stuff. So it would be really cool if he'd face it, release his. Uh, Director Scott is director vision, if possible. As far as I know, there's a lot of footage. But anyway, I digress. Where am I? Where am I going with this? I don't know. It became a whole side rant here. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, seems like the old stuff is where it's at for the most part. There's some cool stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah, with uh, Chuck Dixon. Remembered, he has a new kind of service here. Um, what was it? Art Haven Comics. Uh, but yeah, you should find it with that kind of Google search. Definitely gonna check out his. Uh, I think it was Chuck Dixon's Avalon Comics. So at some point, look cool. Yeah, recommending. Also, thank you for watching the video. Hope you like and subscribe, uh, share with a friend, uh, uh, and uh, I hope you see you on the next video. Hail Kona.